The usages of green products and services in buildings and complexes, we have the perfect company to address tonight's topic. The new Crystal Restoration is based in Porchester, my hometown actually, based in Porchester. Lisa Cordasco is a member of the Board of Trustees of the Building and Realty Institute. Lou Cordasco has been a member of the BRI for many years. And they are going to run you through the many important components of green products and services. So at this time, it's my pleasure to introduce Lisa Cordasco and Lou Cordasco of the new Crystal Restoration of Porchester. Please welcome tonight's speakers. inviting Lou and I here this evening. As mentioned, our company is New Crystal Restoration, but before we start, I have to extend the warmest of congratulations to Diana. I'd like to thank everyone involved with the CCAC for inviting me, especially Diana, Peg, and Jane who were instrumental in getting a local female um, company on the agenda to talk about this. This is my go-to, and hopefully I know how to work this. Um, you and I are a brother and sister team. Our company is New Crystal Restoration. We also have other family members on board at New Crystal Restoration. The um, yellow is highlighted. It's very, very special. Um, we are a family local restoration company. You talk, I know women have to multitask, but this is a little bit too much. <laughs> Our company was founded in 1960. The scope, some of the scope of the services that we provide are 24-hour emergency fire ward or damage restoration. And none of you have ever experienced anything like that in properties, correct? We also provide um, mold remediation, asbestos abatement, and we have ventured over the last few years into capital improvement. This is um, an outline of what we're going to talk about today. Yes, of course, we're going to talk about green, and green is really special to us, um, especially to me personally and professionally. Our company uh, was founded in 1960. We hold the distinction of being Westchester County's first and oldest restoration company, so we have 60 years of experience. I was a child when my father started the business. <laughs> uh, the second, we're going to talk a little bit about bigger, versus local because one of the major challenges that we have as a local business is that there have been an influx of franchises and huge operations and lots of times people know about them but I want you to know about us. And the third thing we're going to talk about is green because um, we use green products. They're safe, they're powerful, and they're natural. And then the, the uh, last thing we're going to go over are the scope of our service. This is a picture of, that's the rock star in the sitting down. Joe McCarthy knows my dad very well and some of you also know him. My dad is a pioneer. He's a local guy, lived his whole life in Westchester. He's an octogenarian. He celebrated his 85th birthday and he founded the first fire and damage, fire and water damage restoration company in Westchester County. Not bad for a local guy. Went through the Yonkers Public Schools, just a fantastic man. My sister is behind my dad. Lou is in the picture. That's me with bangs. Everyone had them in the 80s. And um, my sister-in-law is on the right. Our uh, family member, but not true family member, director of operation is in the photograph, and then my nephew behind. So this is a little bit about our company. Yes, we're first. We are local. Um, we help a lot of different industries, the real estate industry, we help a lot of schools, we help residential customers as well. We're reliable, we're local, we're dependable. We have to be. We're under um, really an, an enormous amount of competition from franchises that have huge marketing campaigns. And we really cater to the co-op and condominium uh, population. We know what it takes to help you, and we've had the pleasure of doing a lot of uh, projects for you. That picture, as you can see, is from the Westchester County Family Owned Business Awards. So that's our um, 
that's where we operate at it, which is in Fort Chester, New York. We're a 24-serving service company. We provide complimentary support. That's important because people have questions. They don't know what's going on. They might not need us, but they need someone to listen. They need someone to help. We give a lot of support. Our prices are comparable to our competitors, and we try what we can to match or beat them. But at the end of the day, we're not going to cut price to get a project to do it less effectively or to shortchange you on what you deserve. We save you money because we know what we're doing. We get in, we get out, we do it quickly. Here's a, a great example of us versus people that don't know what they're doing. On the right is a project that we just completed. That's a photograph of what we did. The photograph on the left is the second floor of West Med at, at um, Ridge Hill and Yonkers. They had a major, uh, um, a uh, pipe, uh, I'm sorry, a, water, a sprinkler system went off. And this is the quality of the work that we do. When we leave there, it is impeccable. It is spotless. It's the way you'd want a property to be left. And it also gives you no exposure because we don't have, with items like that left, and it's, it's hazardous and it's, it's just not the way things should be done. Not the way my father certainly would tell me to do it. So you could read through there, but bigger doesn't mean better. It really just means bigger. We're local, we're dependable, and there's great value. We have a lot of affiliations, a lot of credentials. We don't do things we don't know what to do. If that's not our expertise, we'll tell you that's not what we do. Because we don't want to profess to be bigger, greater, grander. We don't walk on water. We don't provide magic tricks. But if you need us to do remediation, restoration, capital improvements, and uh, abatement services, we're the right people. Um, here again is, you know, I have to put my father in a lot of the pictures because uh, obviously Lou and I wouldn't hear, would be here without him personally and professionally. But I worked with my dad for probably um, 15 years before he retired, and I can genuinely tell you, hand on the Bible that my father was in business for 40 years, and all I heard were compliments. He was a true gentleman. He loved the customers, and he instilled that in Lou and I. Um, people just want you to do the right thing. And at the end of the day, that's what we try to do at New Crystal Restoration. I'd just like oh. to say I'd second that, because I did a lot of business with your father. Joe McCarthy, I was a property manager for WRG and Stillman Management, and during my career I had about eight fires, and I really relied on her father to do a tremendous job putting everything back together. Thank, Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Um, so here again, these are you know some of the things that we like to tout about us. That we're local, we're small. We find small is good because small means intimate service customization of service, dependability, accountability. There's a word that you don't hear anymore. Someone makes a mistake. Have we ever messed up a job? Absolutely. Do we do it often? No. But if we do, we're going to fix it. Um, we're a family-owned business. We are a New York State, New York City certified WBE. That is an arduous task. It took us years to become that. When Dad retired, I um, took the helm. And we get some work based on that credential, but we, do, we can hold our own against the guys. And oh, I forgot to say one of the most important things there, we're a green business. We're going to talk about green, we're going to get there. And we've got a lot of really great awards. Um, so since we're Westchester people, we've been here all our lives, Lou and I, we just went across the border to Connecticut, but we won't hold that against him. Um, but, we, um, we support a lot of the local charities because we're local, we're small. Um, up on the left is the Ovarian and Breast Cancer Walk, which we've supported for years. Up on the right are our, our, made, our guys put autism awareness hats because my son has autism. And down below is Cardinal McCluskey Community Services. That is a program for people with developmental disabilities. So we find that very important to do. Here we go, we got to green. So um, we started, in, um, as, we, as I mentioned, in 1960, we dad started the business. There was only one product to be used. Products were very, very harsh, very, very um, sensitive to people, very powerful, 
but very unsafe. Cost. So, pardon? Cost. Taxes. Very much so. So in 2018, we decided to go green. I had the staff, now dad's retired, I come in, female, child with autism. We're gonna go green. Oh my, I heard, oh my gosh. Oh, we can't do it, it's not gonna work, it's not effective, just because you know you have a kid with autism and, and you find health and safety so important, maybe people are not gonna be as warm and fuzzy about it. I hate to say I was right, I was right. Um, not only is it very well received for, for people that have medical conditions, autism and health concerns, it's just good business all the way around, we found. We do a lot of work in schools and colleges, and they are so happy to have a company that comes in. They use a product that is powerful, safe, effective, no more expensive, and keeps everyone in the environment safe. Well, we are part of the Westchester County Green Business. We were probably one of the first 10 businesses in Westchester County to be part of that. And that's a group all based on um, companies that value the environment, sustainability, and greenness. So the product that we use was founded by a mom who was a rock star. This is her little boy. His name is Connor. And um, Connor had a problem with his immune system. And like so many other individuals with this kind of condition, the mother couldn't do anything to keep the house clean, which wouldn't set off a reaction from her son. So she created a botanical base made from plant, not from a factory, not a synthetic. And the product that we use is from Connor's mom. Now Connor's mom has sold the business. It's a multi-million dollar business and we buy the products from the company that now runs the, um, the company that makes these products. And there we'll tell you a little bit about some of the um, botanicals that are in there. So we decided to do, in our field restoration, we decided to do it naturally. Now when you take, when we come to a, a, a project, we bring our bottle. Our, product, our bottle doesn't have a lot of warning labels on it with things that you can't read. Everyone's gone to the grocery store. You look at, you look at the back of package and you go, am I really gonna put this in my body? You can't even pronounce the words. Our product is botanical base, it's FDA approved, it is, it is safe and it's made with, it's labeled as a food additive. What ingredients are in the products? Well, of course it's proprietary, but those are a list of some of the things that are in there. Then why would we use New Crystal Restoration versus another company? Now if you could see down at the bottom here, um, people know now that you have choices and the choices are to use something that's powerful. If it can be powerful and it can be safe, why would we use it? I always say if you have the choice to have organic food at the same price as stuff that's sprayed with chemicals and pesticides, I don't think anyone would reach for those vegetables and fruits. Okay, there's my dad and there's my son and these are some of the reasons why we went green and why most people decide to go green. Um, autism was a driving factor. My son has a lot of conditions that um, but help with safe with um, smells and odors and sensitivities. People with Parkinson's, women's health issues, good health in general, the special needs community, common sense and the environment, and it's a good uh, consumer choice. This is this is the scope of some of the services that we do. This is a, a shot at the Bronxville Public Schools, which floods on a regular basis, and unless it's a gigantic, huge, huge project, because again, I told you, we don't take a project that we can't handle. If you need 200 people, you don't call us. But we can do projects up to 50 or 100 people. So we do a lot of work at the Bronxville Public Schools, and we provide board up services, carpet cleaning re and removal and replacement debris removal, all of the things here that would be part of if God forbid you had a fire on your property. So I'm gonna bring Get, let Lou go through this next part because I'm going to show you, these are actual shots. This is not taken off the internet, Photoshop stuff. This is our actual work. This project actually came from one of the BRI members who had a pro, um, it was a, a flood and a mudslide that went into the headquarters of Reader Digest. 
And that's what it looked like when we started, and a bunch of these will show you this project and a bunch of other products. So I'm going to give the this to you. Tough, tough act to follow, huh? Pretty good. So I am Luke Cordasco, and I handle the uh, capital improvement and the environmental sector of the business. We also have two other project managers who handle a lot of the insurance claims and so on and so forth. But we're going to go through some of the recent projects we've done recently. Next. Obviously, Lisa mentioned Reader's Digest. It was quite a large project and uh, entailed a lot of environmental issues. Next. Uh, this is a project we did in White Plains. It was a crawl space remediation, which had a lot of different issues, sewer being one of them, bacteria, so on and so forth. The top picture is what it looked like before we started, and the bottom picture was as we were completing the project. SUNY Purchase uh, had a huge water problem, huge sewer backup before the uh, term started this year, believe it or not. One of the uh, students, as they came in in August, flushed a uh, piece of sod down the second story uh, toilet in a two-story two townhouse and flooded out four units. And uh, we had to gut it because it developed mold and now they're re rebuilding it as we speak. This is a fire damage uh, residential job we recently did in Scarsdale. The picture on the left shows you what the project looked like before we got there, and the picture on the right shows you what we did, the condition we leave the project before the general contractor took over. We did not get involved in the general contracting work due to the fact that the customer had their own GC we would want to use. Wait, wait, I have to chime in. The most important part of this project was it opened the woman's closet. <laughs> and Lord, she had about $100,000 worth of Manolos and, and, and teaching Louboutins. And I knew I was on surveillance, so I did not try them to, uh, But I took a picture next to them. I did a selfie with the Louboutins. So that's a 100% that's true story. The guys in my office said, okay, boss, you're nuts. Shame on you. Next. Um, we also do uh, order cleanups, which is on your on your left. I'm sure with, with your co-ops and condos, you run into some tenants who have these issues. Um, and on the right was it was a water damage claim, which we did locally, recently in Tarrytown. We also do a lot of co-op condo asbestos work. The picture on the left is a recent project we just completed last week in Hartsdale. It was um, six individual buildings. It was remediation of the roofs and then re-roofing uh, re the complex as well. Uh, the picture in the center is a job which we have been awarded in Larchmont, which we're going to re remediate their roofing system um, for them. Um, the picture you see now is a um, individual, um, I'm sure you heard the name, James Patterson. He's a famous author, and we're doing his house as we speak right now on, in Briarcliff Manor. It was an asbestos job and a remodeling job as well. Um, the picture you see here now is uh, from the Ritz-Carlton and White Plains. It was a mold remediation for a penthouse suite. Um, you can see uh, the picture on the right shows you where the mold is occurring underneath the, obviously, kitchen sink area. And we had to do the remediation there for them, and everything turned out great. The picture you see in front of you now is a uh, remodeling, a capital improvement project, which we did in Eastchester. It was a four-month project. This was like a 1980s building, which we turned into a 21st century building. <laughs> Just looking at the pictures, you'll see the different work we did. We did, obviously, painting, molding, uh, marble floors, carpeting, all LED lighting. The place looks spectacular now. The only problem is Jonathan didn't design it, but we're going to get Jonathan on board <laughs> on the next one, I promise. I promise. You can see the difference how it looks now. They're really, really impressed. They really love it. Um, this is another one we, we, we're finishing up probably next week in Hartsdale, another lobby renovation. Um, turning around, once again, like a 1980s, 
1990s and everything now is the gray motif, as you can see, and we're doing a great job there as well. Um, for your condos, um, staircases, entries, uh, staircases and uh, entries and exits to get in it was a project we did in White Plains last year. Uh, came out great and uh, it was a great capital improvement for the, for the development. As Lisa mentioned, we are the first and oldest in Westchester, 60 years in business. So if any of you property managers, anyone on your board, your presidents of your boards, if you have any projects coming up in the spring, next year, whenever, we'd love to get involved, help you out, whatever we can do, to aid your assistance in any project, we're here to help you. And thank you very much. Ready for Q and A? Because I'm too young. I'm on the co-op board with Joe McCarthy, and I have a little bit of a background running a community development organization in Brooklyn with affordable housing. And I, I except for the uh, asbestos remediation, what's the difference between you and a general contractor? I mean, if you have a fire, aren't you essentially doing the same work a general contractor would do? We can we can encompass the whole claim. From you know, so you removing all the water, doing asbestos, doing the rebuild. We can do all phases of it. One stop shopping. And, and the first part of an insurance claim is usually called a mitigation part. So you do a lot of insurance. So, yes, yes we, we have we have um, we have a program that is sanctioned and approved by the insurance industry. It, it kind of gives everyone a level playing field for pricing. It's called Xactimate. Our project managers that handle insurance claims are proficient in it. They've, we've worked with adjusters for a zillion years, so the first part is the mitigation. So that's where you minimize the damage. You take out the water, you do demolition, you spray antimicrobial, do those types of things. And then if we need to do the rebuild, so be it. We have the credentials and the qualifications, so we can do asbestos abatement in New York and Connecticut because we have the license. We can do mold remediation in the state of New York because we have the license. Um, there are other mitigation companies that can't do the asbestos. So we can do a lot, or we can do, we customize it for you. What's the order of the blue goose? The order of the blue goose. You didn't think we read that. Right? Yes, well, that's good. So my dad was a former um, president of the blue goose. It's basically an insurance fraternity. It's um, kind of petering out. Lou and I were actually um, talking about this years ago, but the idea was to get insurance professionals together and then to select charities of choice, mostly local, and to give back to the community. It's a, it was an organization amongst insurance so professionals. So like a rotary. Essentially, yes, yes, but for the insurance industry, insurance professionals. If you're, you're passing this along. If you're not in for the remediation and just for a rebuild, you pull permits if need be? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just want that Absolutely. Okay. Anyone else? Peggy? Yes, Peggy. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, I, don't remember, I don't remember what year that I met you, but we had had a fire loss in our co-op, and we had brought in one of the main brand restoration companies, and we had hired a public adjuster, and in going through the insurance claim, the insurance company had paid that other company, and then we found out they didn't do half the work they did, and the work they did do was less than par. And we wound up hiring your company, and we didn't think the insurance company was going to pay two restoration companies, and they paid you in full because of the poor job the other company did. And then since then, we brought you in on mold losses and pipe breaks, and our, our residents actually got to know the name of New, Rest, New Crystal Restoration so that when there is a a pipe break in their apartment, the first thing they say, are you sending them in with their equipment to dry out the, the unit? And <laughs> sometimes we have to do that, sometimes we don't, but it was you that has put our property back together in a couple of our units. And, and you know, we're 228 units, and we've had you in more than a dozen or so. So thank you. Anyone else like to say a nice word about our company? <laughs> <laughs> or do we go right to the raffle? See if you, 
Well, you, we can open it, and then everyone will really have nice things to say about the company, correct? Okay, well, again, thank you so much. Um, let's let... I, anyone else have a question? Nothing about mold or asbestos? All right, good. Can I speak? And you, in case you didn't notice, I actually have to say, uh, most people say that uh, I'm a recovering school teacher, so you give me a mic, I can stay up here forever. <laughs> Well, Lisa, this is not for you. This is for your brother. Bring it on. And we wanted to know, when you file an insurance claim, do you actually do the filing of the insurance claims if there's a remediation? Does your team? That's something you do. And then you obviously, at that point, call us. And okay. let us know what's going on, and we'll, we'll take the ball from there. It's okay. your property. You have to call on okay, it. We you have to present call the our agent and Correct. The claim, but Correct. You will help us with all the exactly. Uh, I happened to be with Levitt first, and an insurance broker, and I just thought I'd respond to that. He was the property owner, right. make the claim, and <laughs> get the adjuster in communication with, with their with office. With yeah. And then they some of them come quickly, some of them don't, but in, in the interim, we can come take pictures. But you have all the experience exactly. in dealing with the adjustments. Exactly. From A to Z. Okay. Sir. Ma'am. So. Sorry. <laughs> Get that right. Do you do remediation on exterior fire escapes? Probably have yes, we do. Plane. We did one in White Plains last year, and we did one in uh, Yonkers. It seems that the big cities... Um, I was talking to someone uh, last year mentioning that yeah. to renew your insurance policy that they're checking all the fire escapes for number one lead paint and number two for the um, bolts and nuts yeah. make sure they're welded correctly because who knows when they were looked at so to get your renewal on your policy they come check. Can you also do roofs, like on flat roofs? Oh yes, you saw it in the, one of the pictures there, yes. So I know everything is is project specific. Sure. Correct. But what are we talking about? Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands? It all, I'd, have, I'd have to say it's all on an individual basis. Without me seeing how many square feet you have, how many, you know. Yeah. I couldn't comment on that until I physically saw the, the property. And usually what happens on, on, on things like that, and as you know, is that they go out to bid. So if, if we could be included in that opportunity, we'll you know give you you know our, our best shot at it. But again, um, my father always told me um, sometimes the job you don't get is a good job. So we won't underbid it. We won't we won't go to you and say it's ten thousand, then come back for fifteen. That will never happen. I mean, I just think that's I wouldn't want someone doing that to me at my house, and that would be a, right off the list. So that's not going to happen. Um, and as far as the insurance, it's your policy. You have the right to select any contractor that you want. You don't are not forced to be steered by what the insurance company um, tells you. You it's your policy. You can choose whomever you like. Um, okay. I have a potential mold question. Um, obviously, if mold is visible, needs to be cleaned, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Is there a device? that you can bring in and you take a sample and say, this is how much mold you have in the air. Is there a machine that does that? There is a machine, but I would hire a local professional, a, a local hygienist to do that for you, because they know how to take the test, they know how to send it out to be read, and give you the results and the proper paperwork you need for all your liability. Because what you see is one thing, what you don't see is really what you need to know. You may see they contaminate all over the rest of the, you know, one room, the whole floor, the whole building. You don't know, so that's why the testing is so important. Before you start the job, then when the job is done, post test it to make sure the job is done correctly. And the other reason why you want to test is because sometimes people says, "Oh my goodness, why do I want to test? I have to spend that hundreds of dollars or whatever." It's because sometimes it comes back negative. When you use people that are reliable and dependable, and they have a long history of doing this, they're really not interested in one project. They're interested in the 500 they're going to do over the year. 
So that establishes credibility and dependability. And there are lots of times where we go into a project and people go, oh, somebody else has said, we have to do this whole, whole hotel. Sometimes it's one room. So you spend a couple of hundred dollars and get the right assessment. No different than a doctor doing diagnostic testing. It's worth the money. And they come back and they check. So if a company is saying that they do both, illegal in the state of New York, never do it. And number two, have the post-testing because it's peace of mind and it's accountability and it's independent data validating that it was done right. Would you say it is illegal in New York? Or a company that to does that remediate. Correct. As of January 1, uh, 2016, as for uh, Hurricane Sandy, there were a lot of companies that were doing both the remediation and the testing, kind of like a conflict of interest, obviously. So a lot of people were getting, you know, bamboozled and uh, they, got they got what they got. So, so some of those that went not made all. Yes. Just one question about uh, timing. Um, if there's water damage or flooding or what have you, isn't there a uh, time is of the essence to get the work done? Absolutely. And how does that work if there's competing contractors looking at it and you got to make a decision, the co-op or condo has got to make a decision? Any kind of water issue should be addressed ASAP. Don't wait on water because mold grows within 48 so, hours. Would you, would you do a hold in place, so to speak, uh, operation to, you know, to get it dried out? Absolutely. And, and then wait for the second phase to be done? Right. Okay. First is to eliminate the water and dry it out as quickly as possible. Then water's the worst because you really can't tell its results for a day, maybe a week. Mm -hmm. But if you get on it right away, you can eliminate a lot of those problems. Okay. Wine time? One more. Yes, sir. <laughs> catwalks and terraces where the uh, metal railing goes into the cement and starts rusting out? We've done one project in Bronxville. So I can we've only done one. Yes, we have. <laughs> you want us to be honest, don't you? Yes. Yes, yes. yes we appreciate that. One good one. One good one. You're all good. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Again, on behalf of Lou and I from New Crystal Restoration, thank you so much. Have a blessed Thanksgiving. Thank you for letting us come. Please join me in thanking Lisa Cordasco and Lou Cordasco from New Crystal Restoration for a presentation well done.